Bitte folge dem Straßenverlauf für 29 Kilometer. Hi everyone, Sammy here. Welcome back to another video. And we just crossed the German border. We are in Denmark now. And this is the beginning of a little road trip, two day road trip. I'm traveling with the Nikon ZF. And uh, we are on a little mission. And uh, what this mission is, I'm going to tell you more about it later in the car. I'm here with my filmer David, who is always kindly filming me. He's uh, following me to film a little BTS. And I'm going to use the Sigma 10 to 80 millimeter again for a little bit of vlogging. I'm not going to talk too much about camera gear on this trip. Um, the goal is to enjoy our road trip, um, take photos along the way, just enjoy photography. And we will be driving along the coastline of Denmark and we have no idea what to expect. The weather is perfect, <laughs> gray, clouds, overcast. Tomorrow is going to rain all day, which is going to be interesting. So uh, yeah, enjoy, see you in the car. Okay, let me tell you now where we are heading to. So our mission for this uh, trip is not to just enjoy Denmark. It's the first time for us, by the way. I mean, I, I've been to Denmark in my childhood, but I have no memory of that. And it's definitely the first time traveling to Denmark with a camera. Um, our mission here is to visit the city called Esberg, which is a city on the west coast of Denmark. And currently there's an international uh, photo festival going on. Uh, something that a photo club in Esberg is organizing two times a year, I think. And they always invite international guests. And about a year ago I got a mail from them and they asked if I want to exhibit my work. And I said, yeah, why not? It's pretty cool because I'm exhibiting uh, alongside uh, Joshua Jackson, so I think the two of us are representing the street photography genre, uh, but there are also other genres of photography exhibited uh, there. And it's not so far away from Hamburg, where I live. So I thought, you know, why not drive to Denmark and check it out? And to me, this is a good opportunity to shoot more with the Nikon ZF and get to know it uh, better. Attached to it is the Vogtländer 40mm 1.2 Nocton lens, which is a manual focusing lens great character, uh, very nice rendering and I will be shooting everything in monochrome because that's what I like and because it's raining a lot I also brought some weather sealed lenses. I have my Nikkor 28 1.4 F-mount lens. I also brought the 40mm F2 uh, Z-mount lens. It's not fully weather sealed but I'm probably going to use that over the fork blender whenever it rains like too much. All right, see you at the next stop. Wherever that is. Jetzt fahren wir so ein bisschen raus aus der Autobahn. Ne? Jetzt geht's los. Guck mal die Landschaft. Watch out, the Germans are here. Update: We just left the highway and we are entering the west coast, uh, <laughs> the east coast of Denmark, and it looks it looks pretty promising. <laughs> looks exactly like where I live. Wahrscheinlich zu einem anderen Bauern. Oh, das sind Pferde. Horses. Die haben so einen lustigen Mantel an. Mhm. was good. Some horse action. I didn't expect them to come this close. 
And I didn't know, I don't know if I got a good shot, but it was very cool. A magical moment here in Dansk. Bitte fahre zur angezeigten Route. Nein, ich möchte jetzt gerne hier parken. Ich überlege gerade, ob ich meinen 28 mm mitnehmen soll. Okay, we arrived at Hell, Hell or something, Hafen. <laughs> It looks very cool. Okay, this was a little bit of a fail. We wanted to have lunch here. There was a burger place, and on Google Maps it said it was open, but, it's, but, it, it, wasn't. but it wasn't. So now we have to find a new place here. What's going on? It's not a holiday today, but I'm having fun with my Vogtländer 1.2, focusing on my screen. Boo! Look at that creamy, creamy bow. <laughs> All right, we are back on the highway, taking a quick break. David is somewhere in the background and we had some lunch in Kolding. We spent some time in this small little town, which was pretty, pretty quiet. And we found out that the Danish people they take it easy on Saturdays. It was a little bit of a shock for us because we expected more people, more action. We had some Indian food and a nice coffee and now we are on the way to Esberg and we probably won't stop because um, it's already very late and we have to check in into our uh, apartment. What else can I say? Tomorrow there is a slight hope of sunshine. There's lots of rain in the morning but there's a slight possibility and chance of getting some sun, sunshine, maybe even a sunset. We will see. So we arrived <laughs> in our apartment. We are both getting our own bedroom. Uh, it's really nice. We have an entire kitchen to ourselves. Where's the light switch? Here. Ooh. So while David is taking a shit <laughs> <laughs> or, or peeing, I don't know. While he's um, doing his business, I will explain what the plan is. Uh, it is like 6 p.m. here in Esberg. We couldn't find a free parking spot yet, um, but we checked in here first. And now we're going to go into the city center. And of course, I'm going to bring the Vogtländer 40mm 1.2 because it's 1.2 and the IBIS is amazing on this camera. And yeah, really looking forward to do some night shots. Uh, it has been a quiet experience so far, and David is done. 
Oh, he didn't wash his hands. <laughs> no, he cannot find a, a towel. Um, yeah, see you in the city. Time to go white. Oh yeah. So, and jetzt hier noch mal so ein Bam. Noch mal so ein Bam. Mm. Oh. <laughs> What's the time? 10:40 p.m. Ist nicht krass, wie nah, wie nah der fokussiert. Guck mal, wie das aussieht. I look like that uh, witch from uh, this Ghibli, Ghibli movie. Sigma, <laughs> Sigma 10 to 80 mm close focus Sick. performance. Sick. 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 Du musst halt seine Stirn, du musst das Mikro seine Stirn machen. So, ja, genau. <lacht> <laughs> you're, you're almost never on camera, but now you're like this close. Kommt man nach Hause und will einfach nur schlafen, und dann ist das Bett noch nicht mal gemacht. Das geht ja gar nicht. Okay, dann. most important thing to bring on a road trip, chocolate. And now the rain, I'm not bothered by it. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, good morning. It is Sunday. We woke up early today to check out these guys. Um, they are called mannequins or man's man by the sea, I think. <laughs> and uh, yeah, four dudes looking out onto the sea. And um, it's very difficult to take photos here because, you know, what you see is what you get. But every time like birds are flying over them, that looks cool. It was very dramatic when we arrived here. And it was raining very hard, uh, but I still shot with my nut weather sealed Foglander 40mm 1.2, just hiding it under my jacket. And it was fine, you know, just use a lens hood, uh, use your, your hand to, to cover the lens, and then uh, you can get away with it. And I'm glad I did, because this lens performs very well. Stop down, it's super sharp. Okay, we're now, we're now filming some B-roll some close-ups of me so it looks like we are <laughs> natural filmmakers no no okay bye bye
Okay, so we are now in front of the Hovet Bibliothek Library. This is where the photo festival or exhibition uh, is being held. We are now waiting for our contact. Who could be this guy? Could be this guy? We don't know. There are not many people on the street here in Esberg, but uh, I'm sure they will give us a little tour. And yeah, looking forward to see all the photos. And then after that, going back on the road. Okay. Er ist äh, David, ne? mein, mein Filmer. Ja, er filmt ja. so ein bisschen mit, wie wir reinlaufen. Ist ja. das in Ordnung? Ja, natürlich, alles, ja. alles, das das kannst du alles machen, ja. wie du willst. Ja, ja I, I, I was surprised how close it is. It's okay. three, three and a half hours. Ja, yeah. yeah. it is. Not so far. Yeah. It's not that bad. Yeah. The exhibition is on, 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 yeah. on the first floor, yeah. Oh, I already see. What is nice about this library compared to many libraries that I know is that you, uh, let me put it bluntly, you don't have to behave. <laughs> we, I, we don't have to behave? Behave. In the sense that, you know, in classical libraries, yeah. you will come in and you will say nothing because you're not supposed to disturb anybody. Ah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, okay. Here, there is a pl uh, playground for children. Mm, yeah. There is a grand piano if you yeah. feel like playing. You can oh. do this. Yeah. It's a very different very place relaxed. than... Uh, what than if you want to read? Uh, you can do that as well. You, <laughs> you let the books rooms. go oh, ah, okay. <laughs> There are rooms here, you can sit in, in oh, peace yeah. and quiet. Yeah, I'll take, yeah. I'll take one for my mom. Yeah. <laughs> the paper looks very uh, bright, yeah. bright, very white. It's uh, mm. Mass who has done the printing. So oh, you did the printing? Yeah, yeah if you want to yell. <laughs> good, good job. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, because I don't know what printer I use, right? No. I just adjust them for any printer, just yeah. regular adjustments, and it looks like I imagine it to come out. So it's good. <laughs> it's yeah, good. it's good. Great. Very deep blacks, I like it. Kind of like how thin the frames are. Yeah. It makes a little light appearance. Yeah. Nice. Okay, I'm enough, enough of me. <laughs> no, it's good. Can, can we take a picture of you with your oh, picture? Of course, yes, yes, of sure. course. <clears throat> Oh, you're the GR. Yeah, <laughs> you're the ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> Just with him, I suppose. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much for doing this. How many photographers are now here exhibited? 13 or 14 local and four internationals. Is this an Esberg? No, no, it's no. in uh, Olborg. Okay. If this would be an Esberg, then it would be such a contrast to our experience. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. So this is Josh. Yeah. Did he tell you anything about his selection? Uh, no, yeah. no. But of course there is his book. Yeah. Uh, so, but, yeah, but I think there's some images from his. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Book, but, yeah. But, but there's a few images from his new book, uh, Modern Paradox, as well, and then from Sleepers in Soho. Yeah. I think most of them are from Sleepless in Soho, yeah. as I recall. Do you have any uh, skateboarding background? No, oh, okay. uh, none, none other than that. I've always liked skateboarding. Oh, okay. I've always been fascinated by it. I want to give you a, a compliment here. It's had nothing to do with the photos, but with the timing. Because someone who doesn't skate mm -hmm. you know, usually takes a photo of the moment of, like, right when people jump. Yeah. But that's not what, what... That's not what the skaters want. Yeah, yeah the skaters <laughs> want... But this is really nice. And, and this of course, is, this yeah. is like the peak moment. Yeah. You know, after you took his photo, he went down. So, f you know, and, and here, I know he's like dropping out of a blunt, probably. So the, the moments are very like what skaters would like to see. And I it's, so. I used to skate and my brother is still a skateboarder. So we took lots of photos of each other and I have some friends who are photographers for magazines, who, for skateboarding magazines. And it's always the photos when the skater has this like elegant pose that yeah. people want to see because like, <laughs> if you can capture someone, everyone has a, their unique style. Same as photographers, right? Yeah, we have this, um, we have all the same eyes, like biologically we have the same eyes, but, <laughs> but we see differently. We have yeah. different brains. Yeah, and so it, it is the same with, with skateboarders, like everyone skates a little different. And I noticed the thing about this guy too, he's a young guy on the Danish mm -hmm. national team. Yeah. And every picture I got of him, he does that with the finger. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> that's really a, cool. a, a cool gimmick. So. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to capture him in the, in the sunlight, you know, so he turns almost mm -hmm. like a silhouette. It almost looks like veins in the body. 
blood, yeah, blood exactly. vessels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it does actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're in um, New York a lot, or uh, I, I used to be. I used to be, and it's, it's, it is my favorite uh, city. This is these are actually were taken in May this year. This year, oh, yeah. yeah. Central Park art, <laughs> but he accepts visa and uh, Mastercard. It's nice, nice little detail. But I'm also always curious, New York photographers, what they would do if they come to, let's say, this city or our, our Hamburg, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, somewhere where it's not as easy to well, get you, you to This is from the music hall. Have you been to the park? Yeah, there? yeah. That's interesting because we, we were there yesterday. And so you, you saw the pond also. We saw the pond, yeah. yeah and and yeah. do you know that the ripples in the pond are created by, the, by sound waves from oh, the music what? hall? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. This is a port city. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it's in a rough environment. The sea is yeah. rough, yeah. And the weather is poor. Everything here has been about survival and making money. Yeah. yeah. Uh, from fish fisheries, from exports to the UK and so on. And so cultural life hasn't been a dominant feature in this place no. at all. And of course it has grown and it is uh, coming along yeah. and there is a strategy by the, uh, by the city council now that culture will play a key role in the further development of the town. Mm. So some of us are trying also to inject a cultural uh, yeah. spirit and it's coming along. Yeah, it's, it's coming really along. Coming along. Uh, but, but, uh, I yeah. can feel it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> you touched me from... All the way from Esper. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, thanks for, for all of this. No, it was maybe. very nice. Good of yeah. you to come, and, and yeah. you, David, too. Maybe one request from our side. Yeah. Because it's always, uh, it's not a struggle, but it's a mm. challenge to find good photographers mm. for the show here. Yeah. So if you are aware of anybody whom you would recommend, <laughs> uh -huh. we, can, yeah. we can put here some email information yeah, that would be and good. people can apply yeah. and yeah. you see they yeah. care about the print quality and you saw yeah. how nicely <laughs> it's done here and you yeah. can bring your kids they can play here yes, <laughs> yes they can <laughs> no yeah happy to help uh, whenever I can so What's so yeah pleasure? thanks so much uh, uh, take nice care and uh, drive yeah. carefully yeah, and, uh, yeah. I'll have a free hand so, <laughs> thanks uh, appreciate it take care bye, -bye. bye. Hello. <laughs> Update. We are now leaving Esberg. Uh, we met uh, Klaus and, and Matzen from their Esberg Photo Club. It was really nice. Thank you for the tour. If you see this, guys. And we just went to a cafe. What, what, what was the cafe's name? Vivaldi? I think so. And Klaus and Matzen were also there, so we met them again. Had a little brunch. Very delicious. Definitely better than most expensive hotels. And the sun even came out, so yeah, we should leave now and uh, head uh, go down the west coast and see what we can find. I think I said that so many times in this video. See what we can find, but that's what you do on a road trip. Wait, before we leave, Asberg uh, rating from one, 1 to 5. 5 represents? 5 awesome. represents best city in the world. 1 represents... Never again. Niemals wieder. <laughs> I would give it a decent three to four. Three. three? I haven't seen all of it, so let's be fair and not you know mention that, but I would say three point eight. Three point eight. Yeah, the library the library, five stars out of five. Yes, the library yeah. is great. I really would I would love to have a library like that in my in my city. Hey, 
Ja. Oh, oh, ja. Ja, wir schon, aber das ist hier nicht vorne, dass es runter Hast du gerade dir nicht geredet? <lacht> <lacht> Hast du gerade irgendwie gerade runter hier? Und der Runde ist hier. Okay. Camera on the back. Check. Camera on the front. Check. Camera around my neck. Check. Good weather. Check. Sunny. Finally. Das habe ich hier random heute auf Google Maps veranstaltet. Ja, Ferienhäuser vielleicht? Sieht aus, ne? Lass mal hier kurz auf den Parkplatz, oder? Das ist ein Parkplatz, oder? Oh. Kurz, geh mal, verpiss dich mal. <lacht> Bin durch. you gotta do to get the shot. <laughs> oh, that was so awesome. And I stepped on lots of uh, sheep poop. <laughs> oh, nice. That's why I walked this way to wash my uh, feet. <laughs> right.
I made it. Ja, det er sødt, ved du. Die Diersperlin er vand. Nicht gut. Nicht gut, nein. Nicht gut. Aber das Wasser geht noch höher? Ja. Ja? Und die Schafe? Okay, now we're standing here and ending the road trip. Not officially, but for this video, because we don't know what kind of opportunities are ahead of us because the sun is setting. We just had an amazing moment with the uh, st stranded uh, sheep and I totally got soaked into water and some sheep manure uh, and sheep shit uh, got on my shoes and pants. <laughs> I will change in a minute, but uh, I want to reflect a little bit on this uh, road trip. This is uh, for us kind of the first time in Denmark. For you, it's really the first time for me. It's you know, the first time since decades ago. So first impression in Denmark after two days. I really liked it. We were definitely much luckier with the weather today, so that was nice. Yeah. Overall, nice experience, I would say. I tend to like the West Coast more than the East Coast from mm. what I have seen in a little more than 24 hours. <laughs> uh, but as I said, today we were lucky. That was nice. Yeah. Denmark has lots of in common, in, uh, has a lot of in common with with Hamburg and northern Germany in general. Yeah. So exactly. It felt very familiar. Yeah. When we started this road trip, I was actually excited to be in the rain and harsh weather environments because I I like that for when it comes to taking photos. It always looks very dramatic and I shoot black and white, so uh, that's good for me. But I have to say now that we have some color in the sky and uh, sunshine. Yeah. Sunshine is not that bad. <laughs> so, you know, I can fully understand why people do road trips uh, when the weather is nice in summer, because yeah. it's nice. But uh, maybe this can also encourage some of you to do a little road trip, even when the weather looks bad. So we got some information about uh, the sheep and this uh, elderly couple told us that they called the police and the police is going to carry the sheep uh, away from the, from the water. So we might be able to see that and witness that, that would be awesome to document it. So I don't know if I should change and then lose the opportunity to go back into the water and take photos, but yeah, you will find out after this. If there are any more photos that we took after this section, you will see them. Other than that, we will say bye. Hope this was fun to you. And thanks to Klaus and Matzen again Duck. from Esberg. <laughs> Duck, it's Duck, thank you. Duck, Tuck, Tuck, Tuck. No, Chuck. Tuck. Chuck. Tuck. 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 Okay, tuck. Tuck, tuck. Yeah, check out their website and uh, maybe you can exhibit your photos in the future. Who knows? And yeah, let's go and uh, change and drive back home. We're still very deep in Denmark. We haven't even reached the border yet. So who knows what's going to happen? Find out in a second. <laughs>